Yeah, I really think it's a very nice song. Okay, we're here for Burmaster scripted demo. Yeah, that's you know that's something. Some of several of my friends own Burmaster Electronics, and I've heard that Burmaster speakers. I have some videos on Burmaster when they were in 3MA. Yeah, we're still there. Um, beautiful chassis design. Never seen a turntable firsthand. Like modern, you probably know it uh, like it was. And Usually these you know, have a, a rear firing tweet or two. And, and this one doesn't. Developing that, you know, it's not modern anymore. So yeah, we have to um, we have to reshape all the, the processes. All right, I'll get the sweet spot for the demo. Put this on pause for a second. Yeah, I'm familiar with Burmester down in Houston. Uh, 3MA Audio is, is a dealer. Some of my friends have the big amps, the mono blocks. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, the mega ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, I know. We saw them he just sent out. Yeah, my my friend is putting those in his summer home. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, that those are those are so fast. And it's so, so yeah. yeah. Beautiful it's looking and yeah. So that's going to be uh, quite an install. I'm going to film that on the channel. So yeah. What uh, I haven't heard these speakers before. There was another pair down at 3MA. I did hear, but mm -hmm. uh, this is a... It's a B38. A B38, okay. Yeah, the, the biggest one of the B-series. Okay. It's the BC series which is like the Lightning uh, product series. Um, and it is planned to have like a series in between them, but it's... Now, is that a passive radiator on the side, or is that a driver? Oh, no, that's a base, a base driver. Yeah. Huge. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 32 centimeters in a very uh, strong magnetic field, so it's really um, easy to control. Okay. Um, and of course, we have the AMP tweeters. Yes. And the glass fiber um, uh, membrane for the lift mid range. And no rear firing tweeter like some of the other. No, they don't have rear rear firing. Okay. Uh, they are just that's all uh, we have. Gotcha. But the, series, but the BC series has um, rear or top firing. Top okay, firing. yeah, that's the one. I, I, I heard the one with the rear firing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing. This yes, a nice speaker, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. So, um, we're waiting for a few more minutes if there's more tickets. Okay. Is it fine if I do it in English for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, similar yeah. from Australia. Okay, so good. Yeah. Okay. So from Texas and Australia. Yeah. Yes, Texas. All right. Yeah, I heard. Are you are you into basketball? A little bit. Yeah, the Rembanyama uh, guy <laughs> yeah. is going to, going to San Antonio. On San Antonio, oh. not Houston. That's what the, everybody was hoping. Yeah, I think for him it's good in San Antonio. I yeah, mean, I it's probably. Who's when I think about him? Because yeah, because Tony amazing. Parker is another <laughs> French yeah. guy. Yes. Right. Yes, and um, he can be the star in San Antonio. So I think it's yes, it can be a team that's. It's probably a more, around. yeah, more polished organization right now. I so. think so. Yeah, yeah. this one which is full of my family. And they don't have a football team, so that is the major right. sport. Yeah. So he's going to be. He's he's yeah. going to own that town. He's going to own the sport. Yes. I mean, if it's, if, it's if he stays healthy, hurt, yeah. yeah. If it's not getting hurt, it's, it's, all these guys that are over seven foot, you know, Yao Ming and all these guys typically have foot problems so if yeah. you can avoid that yeah. you know and they can dribble and shoot like that so yeah exactly he's the only one that can do that i'm really I'm really excited to see next uh, the next season i think about getting an nba pass for the first time yeah that'd be awesome yeah that. see you have some bleed through in the uh, rooms here yeah. uh, it's yeah. a common thing yeah usually mm, back in the days there was kind of a unwritten rule that you don't half an hour here half an hour oh, okay. there and you just you know uh, what's it called? Uh, share. Share, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> share the, the hour, whatever. Uh, but yeah, since two years we don't do it anymore, so we just try to get the loudest. Yeah, you just. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a shame Well, you've got the we, bass driver to do it now. Yeah, right. We, we do and we can do it, but it's, you know, we want to, you know, play some fine. Soulful, yeah. Yeah, soulful stuff sometimes. And um, it's just not just not possible. But we have, we have a lot of bass, so. Um, and the base is really nice this year because we uh, prepared all the, the walls a little bit. Yeah. Oh, these are all your um, treatment? Yeah, we have like, like a wooden, wooden construction behind that and we stuffed it full of uh, insulation fiber and uh, oh, nice. hard to you know, um, yeah. make it a little more um, dense. And the base is really nice, um, spread even, it. Yeah. Yeah, even. Yeah, we 
two more minutes, and then I um, uh, tell you some stuff about the system. Okay, yeah, so I shouldn't ask any questions now. <laughs> I'll hold off. Yeah, and uh, of course, um, you can, we have our engineers at the, at the front, okay, at the floor outside, so you can um, get in deeper into it if you want with the engineers. Okay, yeah, this is the first time I've seen the turntable. Actually, oh, the first time we showed at the high end. The speakers we never showed, the turntable never. Oh, so this is the first for everything. Very attractive speakers in the whole system. I should have taken a photo. Let's see if there's there. more people coming. Record player, because the first song is going to be a song from this record from Rachmaninoff um, Symphonic Dances. And um, I play that because it's very dynamic. There's a, a lot of instruments with different volumes, different positions, and the amplifier is able to keep all that dynamic in the in the um, reproduction of the music. Um, and it's kind of, um, we try to develop the audio concept a little bit more, so there's short arrays for the signal, there's um, two separate um, power supplies for the um, amplification segment, so the right and the left um, channel is really separated from each other and is, you know, unlikely to um, influence each other. Um, also, we have a new connectivity uh, solution. There's Spotify integrated for the first time in the Burmester history because, yeah, there's different reasons, but Spotify has a lot of content and there's, they keep promising to bring, to come up with a high-res or hi-fi um, solution. So we just trust them and uh, implement them in the new um, amplifier. And there's going to be a new app, um, so the whole connectivity and usability um, will improve a lot with this new product. It's um, it's not a serial um, state uh, right now because by the end of September we will be hopefully um, uh, further with the supply chain management and to see how you know how much it is um, in price wise and how um, how easy it is to build and when we can start delivering this product but um, it's a stage that is good enough to, to show it and to play it and to show you how it sounds. Um, there's a phono section included so phono input the record player is connected directly to the uh, integrated amplifier and um, also there's a, a digital audio converter module included right now. So it's a modular base you can buy it without those modules and you can buy it with phono or digital audio converter module. Um, okay, let me show you the first song and um, then we gonna switch over to Spotify. Yeah, and I just wanna present the dynamic range. and you can follow the orchestra and 
it's really um it's a really nice recording too um okay let's go switch over to spotify um, spotify yeah are you in high res here or uh no not yet but um yeah, it still it still sounds really good, and we just wanted to show um, how good Spotify can sound. Okay. Um, of course, we have Tidal and we have Cobos, and yeah. but we showed that we presented that for like a, a lot of times. So um, today we're gonna uh, show some Spotify music, but it's really not bad and um, not bad at all. <laughs> um, so and of course it's kind of a new thing, so we want to show the new stuff. Um, I play the whole song because it's uh, increasing percussion elements in, in this song and it's getting more and more and the stage just keeps standing. There's no, uh, no, yeah, no, the stage is never in danger even though there's a lot of energy in the bass um, and a lot of like fast sounds happening. Uh, and it's called Freedom by Dominique fils -Aimé. And uh, the voice is very, very close to the microphone so it's a really um, detailed uh, voice and there's several voice um, Say um, lines like several voices next to each other. Yeah, like yeah. a choir sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's nice to follow each each of those. Um, yeah, freedom. Free 
like this. Who's the other? The song. Uh, uh, Dominique. Oh, Dominique from Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I think she's from Canada and yeah. just everything she does she sounds amazing. Sounds really really well. Well. There's so many cool remixes and it's really yeah. interesting um, stuff. And um, yeah, the next song has um, the microphone very close to the guitar and those AMT tweeters, they love guitars. They have like those little tiny um, uh, sounds that happen when you, you know, when you uh, use the, the strings and um, yeah so I want to play Decemberist Carolina Lowe mm. as a contrast also um, the male voice compared to the female voice before um, or shows, um, I always play boss gags, uh, thanks to you to see if it's easy for me to dive into the music because then I'm, you know, then I'm happy with the setup. Um, it's a song that really pulls you into the sound stage and this big bass, um, um, yeah, uh, ground um, really <coughs> yeah, pulls you in. So it's a very nice uh, voice and very nice uh, instruments and details. Uh, so um, yeah, thanks to you boss gags. Always a good one. I think I know I 
So perfectly alone 